Hello, learners and leaders. I am so excited you're here. This is Aunt Bindi from Aunt Bindi's Bookshelf, and I am ready to do super fun things with you. For the past week, we have been talking about the book Leaf Man by Lois Ellert, and now we're gonna do some fun leaf painting. You wanna paint with some leaves? Come with us. Learners and leaders, we have been having tons of fun with Leaf Man right now. Uh, we did some leaf math, we played leaf war, we danced like leaves, and then we wrote a leaf story and caught some leaves blowing in the wind. If you didn't have a chance to do those fun activities, have your grown up go to my website and get the leaf activities. I'll put the link in the description below. Now we're going to do something a little bit different with those leaves. We are going to make some fun art. I'm going to show you three different ways to make art with leaves. Grownups, as always, I will put a link in the description to my blog with absolutely step-by-step -step instructions. All right, let's get started. As always, before we can get started, we need to gather our supplies. So let's talk about what we need. First, we're gonna need paper. Any kind of paper will do. You can use fancy drawing paper, or this is watercolor paper, or just plain old copy paper would be fine too. Then you'll need leaves. Go on a leaf walk and collect a bunch of different kinds of leaves. All of my leaves are green because the leaves in my neighborhood are, haven't turned yet, but maybe you'll get some pretty colors of leaves. Just make sure to get some green leaves because we'll need them for our chlorophyll painting. A marker, we're gonna use that to draw our trunk and branches. Then some paint brushes, some paint, and a rolling pin, or in my case, I have, this is called a brayer. It's basically just a one-handed rolling pin. And you'll need that for our last painting. That is what you're gonna need. For the first type of painting, we're gonna let the leaves themselves be our paint. Did you know that leaves contain something called chlorophyll? Chlorophyll is a fancy word for the chemical that is in leaves that makes them green. This chemical is also what helps them take energy from the sun and convert it into their food. We're gonna use that chemical and put some green paint on our painting. First, we're gonna start with a piece of white paper. It can be office paper, drawing paper, both work. I've used watercolor paper here. You're gonna draw a tree skeleton on your paper with a marker. I have outlined mine in pencil and now I'm gonna go over it again with a marker. All right, now that you have the trunk and branches of your tree, it's time to use your leaves to paint. I have a few different kinds of leaves here, so we're gonna see what works best. We're gonna take these leaves and we're gonna kind of scritch them up, bunch them up. We're gonna just make them. It works best if you get some of that chlorophyll out of there. Then we're gonna just rub them on and see, hey, that one isn't working super great. Let's see what we get with a different one this one we're gonna kind of mush it a little bit it kind of... that one's working better right working better we're gonna paint our leaves on I'm gonna try these ones same thing kind of bunch them up get them a little these ones are a little bit crunchier I wonder if that'll work better oh yeah that one's working really well You can also do this with grass. Grass also ha contains chlorophyll, so it's gonna leave uh, green paint on here as well. In fact, have you ever gotten grass stains on your knees? That's why, it's because of the chlorophyll. Okay, we're gonna kind of bunch it up. Then we're gonna paint with that. Gonna get it kind of on there. Look at that! Did you even know that you could paint with leaves and grass? Isn't that fun? All right, there is that one all painted and ready to go. All right, for our second painting, we're gonna use our leaves as brushes this time instead of as paint. We're gonna grab a little branch with 
leaves on it. And let's grab a couple different branches so that we can kind of compare and contrast what our results might be. And we're just gonna paint as they are. We're gonna grab them kind of like this and paint. Ready? Let's go. Okay, so we have our leaves that we're gonna use as brushes. Let's get some paint. We're just gonna kind of dollop it on here. We're gonna go a little crazy. Ooh, that was a lot. Ooh. Okay, now we're gonna do some orange. And the good thing about art is that there is no right or wrong way to do it. You just do whatever you feel like. Those are kind of the same colors as some fall leaves. I wonder what colors the fall leaves are in your area. Comment below and let me know what are your fall leaves looking like. Okay, I'm going to grab this branch and I'm going to hold it kind of down low-ish so I get kind of a brush type of a feeling. See that? Then we're going to paint that out. Alright, let's try with a different kind. Let's see what that's like. Different shape. Same thing, I'm going to hold it a little bit low. Paint. What happens if I don't hold it? If I hold it higher up, that looks a little bit different, right? Oh, I kind of like that around the edges. You do whatever you like and paint away, my friend. Create your masterpiece, let it dry, and then display it somewhere for everyone to see. I would love it if you would send me a picture of your painting and then I can display it for other kids to see. What a great masterpiece you made. All right, finally, we're gonna use our leaves to make a print. A print is just a fancy word in the art world that means make a copy. So we're gonna take paint, paint on our leaves and make a copy of the leaves. All right, first we're gonna try to work with a pretty flat, soft leaf. Uh, we're gonna look for a leaf with some great veining on the back. The veins are what's gonna stand out most in the painting, so cool veins equals a cool painting. Once we have our leaf, we're gonna get our paint ready. I'm using tempera paint and just a paper plate to hold it. Don't limit yourselves to traditional fall colors. You can use any color you want. I'm gonna use some blue, um, this cool metallic gold color, and this purple. You're gonna to wanna to make sure that you have a brush for each color, as well as a piece of paper, and then another sheet of paper that we'll use later. You're also gonna want your rolling pin or your brayer. All right, we have our leaves, we have our supplies. Let's get down to business. We're gonna paint the back of our leaf because the back of the leaf is where the veins stand out most. So that is where we're gonna get the best results. Again, make sure you have one brush for every color and we're just gonna start painting on. Don't, and I'm actually gonna move this out of the way because I don't wanna get paint on it. Okay. Don't go crazy with the paint because if you have too much paint, it'll start to smudge. So we're gonna paint that up. Also, make sure, don't worry if the uh, colors overlap. Trust me, it'll look cool when we're done. So get that paint on there. Again, fairly thin layer. All right, paint away, we'll see you in just a second. All right, we have all of our paint on our leaves and now we're gonna put our leaves on the paper. 
kind of just guess where you think you might want them. Be careful when you're putting them down because once they're on, you can't really move them. So we're gonna kind of mush that one down. We're gonna lay these other two here. Set that one down. Then we're gonna set this one down. Okay. Now, we're gonna lay a sheet of paper over our leaves. If you're using like your grown-ups rolling pin, get a fresh sheet because I'm gonna get paint on my brayer. And that's okay with me because it's an art supply, but might not be okay with your grown-up if you got paint on their kitchen supplies. We're gonna get out our muscles and we are gonna roll so hard. We're gonna transfer that paint over. All right, we're rolling, rolling, rolling. Now, we're gonna pop this off and see what we have. Let's look. Look at that. And then that one, isn't that so cool? And then look at that one, that is so awesome. Once this dries, we can take a marker and draw a little stem on and we will have such a beautiful painting. What a good job you did. You plus nature equals a masterpiece. Learners and leaders, what great artists you are. We took three different kinds of leaves and made three different great pieces of art with them. Take those artworks, display them proudly. You worked hard on them. Good job, guys. Along the way, we learned a couple fancy words. Let's review them. The first fancy word we learned was chlorophyll. Chlorophyll is the chemical in leaves that makes them green. It's also what helps them to take energy from the sun and turn it into food. The second fancy word that we learned was print. In the art world, the word print means to make a copy. We took the leaves, we painted the back of them, laid them down and made a copy of them out of paint. Learners and leaders, I am so proud of you for trying something new today. I bet that we made art in at least one way you had never done before. I am again, so proud of you. Hopefully you had fun. If you wanna do some more leaf activities, ha head to my website, have your grownups get the leaf plans. There's tons of fun stuff to do in there. Make sure to like and subscribe, hit that notification bell so that you can come along next time we go on an adventure. And if you had fun, share it with a friend so they can come along too. Thanks so much learners and leaders. Have a great day.